uh, hello and welcome everybody. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we're, this is working well or not. I just saw the choppiness of the video. Hopefully, the, this stream is working well. Uh, but hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, we're gonna we're gonna bust open some cards tonight. A little uh, 2021 tops heritage. Uh, but we have a couple of things to do before we get started. Um, the first is we had a couple of teams left over actually. Uh, and so that's kind of our first order of business is, does anybody want any of these? So we'll, we'll start there. Uh, I know that, uh, Steve was just asking about the Nats. The Nats are gone. Um, they, they went as a, a last minute, uh, removal. So I haven't taken them out of the Facebook thing yet, but they are in all of my records taken care of. Um, but let's, let's start here. Let's jump over to this. And these are the teams that are left. So if you'd like one of these teams, great. If you don't want one of these teams, also totally fine. Um, I will, uh, I'll take those teams myself. So <clears throat> if you're interested, let me know, chime up in the chat and, uh, and say, Hey, I'm taking this one. And then you can hit me up on Venmo or PayPal to grab those. And, uh, we'll just give, you know, a couple minutes for people as they get here. If they have any interest in, uh, grabbing one of these teams, more than welcome to do it. And if you, if, if we don't sell them, that's no problem. We're still going to break tonight. Um, and, uh, I'll get some extra teams for myself. That's always fine. Uh, that's the problem with being a breaker and a collector is I'm always like, Oh, free teams. Awesome. So, uh, don't, don't feel like you need to take one, but if you guys do want one, let me know. And, uh, we'll, we'll give it like two more minutes in case anybody's interested in jumping on one of these, but otherwise we'll, uh, we'll get right into the break here in just a minute or two. How's everybody doing? Uh, hopefully, hopefully everybody's doing good. Uh, it's, uh, it's a holiday weekend for many people. So if you're celebrating, uh, have a nice holiday weekend this weekend. Uh, and if you're not celebrating, that's, that's awesome too. Just have a beautiful weekend. Uh, I'm here in Ohio and it's, um, uh, it's going to be pretty nice. I think we're at least going to be in the fifties, maybe sixties this weekend. It's been cold the last couple of days, but, uh, I think it's going to be nice enough. Maybe we'll spend a little time outside. So definitely looking forward to that. I also, um, oh, Kevin Evans says he wants the Rockies. All right, we can make that happen. Let's see if I can do this effectively. I've got a wheel of names. We're going to take this up here. Put Kevin Evans on the Rockies. And one more place while I do that here, we can bring this back, sorry. Um, Kevin on the Rockies, all right. No, oh, I just screwed everything up, all right, one second. One moment while I fix some things. Okay, Colorado, Kevin Evans. I'm trying to do this without uh, using my keyboard and I'm having some challenges because I don't have the keyboard up here on the desk right now. All right, so I think that's good. Um, and Eric says he'll take the Mariners. Awesome, all right, Eric, I gotcha. We'll make that happen too. All right, so I've got both of those logged here, I think. Make sure I've got the Mariners for Eric. And we are good on those. Okay, so uh, do we have, uh, let me make it back in my conversation here. Make sure I haven't missed anybody else. So we've got the, we've got the Mariners gone. Take them out. So we can do this like that. Delete. Look at that. And then Colorado just went. Actually, I should uh, make sure that I had that in my head. Okay. And then Colorado's gone. And uh, like that, we're down to three teams. So um, we'll, we'll call it a break. That, uh, that looks pretty good to me. So let me come in and make sure that I have that... Uh, finance stuff figured out and in place from my records and then we will be ready to go seattle seattle okay 
So jump back to this. Want to make sure that we uh, we spend a little time admiring this fantastic t-shirt that a friend of mine made. If you guys can't see this, um, <clears throat> I thought this was a pretty cool t-shirt to get. I was I was kind of digging the the Donruss cards this year. I don't love the design, but um, I was really loving all the variation and, and differences uh, in that set. So it was kind of fun to collect. And I thought, man, I need a rated rookie t-shirt. So here we are, rated rookie t-shirt. Um, okay, so we've got uh, we've got Kevin and Eric all handled for the Mariners and for the Rockies. And now it's time to break some cards. So let me uh, let me jump over to this view. You can see my hands are right here. Actually, let's stay on let's stay on this for a second, just as I explain everything. So for those of you who haven't been here before or haven't uh, haven't done a break with me before, uh, I want to make sure everybody understands how this works and what the rules are. Um, we're gonna open four boxes of 2021 Tops Heritage. Uh, we'll go through all the packs. All the cards will ship. Uh, if you own the team, you get all the cards. There's no exceptions to that. Uh, I know that there are even box loader cards. I'll have to figure out how to properly package those for you, but I'll, I'll get them out to you the same way. Um, and uh, we'll go through all these. There's a couple of things, though, that we need to keep in mind. Number one, there are a lot of cards in this set that have multiple players on them from different teams. And so I, I don't know that there's a lot of situations in which there would be like two players from one team and one player from another team. Uh, but if that happens, then the person that owns the majority of the players on that card would uh, would get that card. We're going to have to figure this out at the end. We'll go through them. So I'll set these multi-card um, cards aside. The other situation, though, is where we have equal ownership, right? So we have one person owns one player, one person owns the other player. Uh, I'm going to hold them back. We're going to do some randomization at the end to figure these things out. But if I have duplicates of a card, um, so let's say there are two uh, two of the same card, and they have two players on it, one player for each. Instead of randomizing those, I will just give one of them to each person. Um, so anytime that I can evenly divide it amongst the owners of that card with duplicates, we will do that. Um, but if there's a third one, then we would randomize the third one. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna try to do this as fairly as I possibly can, but any any situation in which I can give um, the same card to two different people, I will, I will optimize for that. Um, but in cases where it's only fair to randomize, that's when we will randomize them. There are also other cards like uh, MVP awards and Rookie of the Year awards, stuff like that, that don't have any teams on them. We'll randomize all of those at the end also. So we will make sure that everybody has the new opportunity to get those. And then finally, um, the team that gets the fewest cards. Um, so as we open all of the, all of the cards in the break, um, the team that gets the fewest cards, and we'll be keeping track of that live as we go here, um, they will get their money back. So um, that is that is how we'll do this. That's the prize for losing the break, I guess, is that you'll get um, you will get your money back for whatever your team was, and so we'll we'll figure that piece out as well. Now, you'll still get the cards, of course, but you just uh, you'll get your money back. Okay. So with that, we're going to jump over to the official breaking view. You can still see me here. I'm hanging out on the side, but. Uh, the important view is here in front of me. Uh, we have four boxes. Uh, you can see that I have one, two, three. It's kind of a zoomed in view, but there are in fact, I can do it this way. One, two, three, four boxes that we're gonna open. I have a fifth one here in the background, but it was really just for background, uh, just so we can see the cards there. Um, so I'll move these back over here to the side and uh, we'll get into our first box, which is right here. Get out the trusty knife and slice we go. Here we are. Time to time to get into this. Uh, so, Greg, I've already opened one of these boxes for myself, and I was I was actually quite surprised. I got a good number of the 400 to 500 ones. Not a ton, but I probably have 15, maybe 18 of them. And uh, looking on eBay and on Beckett, I was surprised the prices Pete, those are commanding. It's uh it's actually quite surprising. Did we get wow? Oh, I thought that was Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. Uh, we got a Reese Hoskins uh, box loader card. This is a big card. Uh, I'll have again. I'll have to send this out. It does look like it's got a little, a little tortured corner there. It just doesn't look perfect. But in general, that's a nice looking card. I'm going to set that aside. But the Phillies get that one. Now, if you guys watched Hal's break, Harold's break last night. Um, you may have noticed that he pulled a lot from this side. Uh, there's a, there's one hit in the box. It's either a relic or an autograph, but it seemed like all of his came from this side of the box. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and optimize for that also. We'll, uh, let's see. What's the best way to get in here without 
I guess we can just destroy the box. That's one way to go. So we'll we'll make that stack the last. We'll see if that theme continues. These did come out of the same case that his came out of, so you never know what you're going to get. Um, I've been working with Harold to get a lot of my cards, so uh, these these are all coming from the same place. Um, and so we'll uh, we'll stack these up. Let's take this left pile. This this is the one that might have the hit in it. We'll put it right there, and then we'll put this one on top of it. Uh, offset a little bit. Now we can move the mouse out of the way, and then we have places for two stacks. Okay, and then we have this stack, and we'll uh, we'll crack these open. So again, this board here behind me with all of the logos on it. Um, if you haven't seen that before, um, I'm going to push one of those buttons every time I pull a card. And uh, in this in the situations where we have multiplayer cards, I'm not going to push the buttons for those at all. Uh, what we'll do instead is we'll determine who gets it at the end by randomization, and I'll push the button for that team at that time. So um, you will not see me pushing the button um, for any multiplayer card. So here we go. Let's uh, let's get into it. There's some cards. Uh, we're going to do this. Um, there are, I forget how many packs are here, 20, 24 packs. So we have three stacks of eight, uh, eight packs. So we'll, uh, we'll open eight packs at a time. Eric's asking for a hot box. I would love to see a hot box, man. That'd be incredible. I'm, I haven't pulled a ton. Of, like, I pulled some good cards, some good autos, stuff like that. But I'd love to pull some real gold. Like, just, I don't think they have super fractors unless you catch the chrome versions of these, uh, which there are not a lot of. I opened an entire box myself. Didn't have a single chrome card. So I think those are pretty rare uh, to come by. Yeah, we're also we're all gonna have to share our uh, our list, Greg. I'm I haven't decided if I want to continue collecting this set. I don't like. I'm actually really put off by how bad the centering is on these cards, and I don't know. I mean, it's a cool looking set. I like the design. I just don't know if I can bring myself to dump a bunch of money into trying to collect this whole set. Um, okay, so Eric says, check the backs of the last two cards of a couple backs, couple packs. Uh, there are weird cases where two cards per pack at the back have the wrong backs. Interesting. Um, all right, well, we'll, uh, we'll definitely check that out we'll, as we go through this. I don't know if I'll be able to tell what the back of a pack is, but we'll, we'll try. All right. Let's, you know, let's move these over here. Uh, we got Glaber Tor. Yeah, I got to be able to see my camera. It's, it's useful to be able to see what you guys are seeing. There we go. Claver Torres, Ryan McMahon, rookie. Oh, Rockies. I read that as rookies. My goodness. Kyle Schwarber in action. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon. We had a lot of inaction cards right off the top here. Those seem to be treated equally. Um, this is one of the World Series cards. I think it's also weird, as I was looking at the checklist for this, uh, they have game one, game two, Game four, five, and six, I think. I think maybe it's only the games that the Dodgers won, but they don't have a card like this for each of the seven games, which I thought was odd. Um, Sonny Gray, Mike Estremski, New Age Performers. These seem to do pretty well price-wise, too, on uh, eBay. Oh, my gosh, Kevin, thank you. Yeah, my last two breaks, I haven't been pushing the button. We're going to start over. San Francisco, thank you. My, that would have been real bad. Sonny Gray from the Reds. This is a Tampa Bay Rays card. So we'll hit the Tampa Bay button for that. Uh, that's McCutcheon from the Phillies. Come on, we got to get faster with the buttons, Jeff. Philadelphia is right there. Okay, Kyle Schwarber from the Cubs. Rockies. Glaber from New York. Uh, and Tyler Molly from the Reds. I noticed that my uh, my buttons aren't showing up. I used to have a logo that would show up. Uh, in the top right corner, but it's not uh, it's not doing that tonight. I guess I, I had a different version of this. Minnesota, Joey Votto from the Reds again. This is an example of one of those cards with multi multiple players on it, the NL strikeout leaders. Um, so again, we've got the Reds, the Mets, and the Phillies. One of you is going to get that, but we're going to set these aside, and we'll go through and find our duplicates, and uh, we'll figure all that out at the end. Thank you, Kevin, so much for that reminder. Uh, Trey Turner from the Nats. Uh, Godley from the Red Sox, Luke Voigt from the Yankees, White Sox is Nomar Mazzara, 
the Diamondbacks, Noah Syndergaard from the Mets, Dallas Keuchel from the White Sox, Juan Soto in action from Washington. Uh, we've got rookie stars. Um, this is from Boston. No, from San, yeah, from Boston and Baltimore. This is a Mount Castle and Bobby Dalback card. This is worth a, I think it said like four bucks. Uh, it's not a bad little card, but again, needs to be broken up. There's our Cy Young Award. I told you there'd be a couple of these award cards in there. So again, back to the randomization pile for you. We've got a Pujols. That's the Angels. Yadier Molina from the Cardinals. Wacha, Michael Wacha from the Mets. I don't know him. Um, that was another thing I noticed as I was going through these is that I didn't know a lot of the players uh, that I thought I should. Like they're not rookie cards, but somehow I don't have them uh, at all in my list of players in my database. Uh, another one from Tristan McKenzie and Chris Bubik. Eloy Jimenez from the White Sox. Um, man, I watched him get hurt. It didn't look like it was too bad, but man, uh, he's out for a while. Uh, Lucas Sims from the Reds. Altuve from Houston. Come on, Houston. Danny Mendick from White Sox. Mookie Betts from the Dodgers. Austin Hayes, Orioles. There's two Mets. Uh, two rookie stars, uh, Ali Sanchez and Franklin Colon from the Mets. So that, that is definitely a Met card. The Royals got Jorge Soler. Royals, Rich Hill from the Twins. And Michael Franco from the Royals. Okay, I'm going to find my chair. I can uh, I can sit down and do this. Let's see if I can pull this a little bit. Matt, nothing big yet. Nothing, no big hits just yet. Um, we've got some good rookie cards, but nothing that I would call a hit. All right, back back into our first set of eight packs. You're you're not too late, Matt. We're only just getting into the first set of eight packs. So we've got Mitch Moreland from San Diego. Uh, we've got two Braves and a Padre. So this is going to be considered a Braves card, um, just so you guys know how this is going to work. I mentioned it earlier, but uh, because the Braves own the majority of the players on this card, um, they uh, this is a Braves card. So off to the Braves. Nelson Cruz. Um, I want to make sure that uh, I get all this stuff right. So Nelson Cruz is on Minnesota. Um, but they, they don't always do a great job of making that easy to know. I mean, I know, I mean, I'm a central, uh, AL central fan. Oh my gosh. You guys do see football teams along the bottom. Why is that happening? How about that? Is that better? I don't know if I just did that accidentally or what? Um, we're back. We're good. Thank you for catching that. Um, so Minnesota, Red Sox, Padres, that was a really good catch. Um, I, I don't has the NFL been there the whole time? I thought I was looking at it earlier and it was good. Uh, we have three Yankees on this card: Abreu, Yajur, and Nelson. That is most definitely a Yankee card. Shane Green from the Braves. Uh, we've got two Indians: Shane Bieber and Gaylord Perry here. So that is an Indians card. Brandon Crawford from the Giants. Jesus Lazardo from the Athletics. Uh, this is a Houston card, Carlos Correa, the Diamondbacks, Yelich from Milwaukee, Pete Alonzo from the Mets, more Giants, We've got two rookie stars from the Nationals and the Braves, we'll have to split that one up, but that's got Garcia and Pache on it. Uh, we've got Brandon Lowe from the Rays, Ty Buttry from the Angels, Kipnis from the Cubs. That's a former Indian. Nate Pearson. This is a rookie card for Nate Pearson from the Blue Jays. Austin Meadows from the Rays. There's a Kershaw. Herman Marquez, Rockies. John Means from the Orioles. Another Oriole. Brett Gardner from the Yankees. There's something about Brett Gardner. He's like my least favorite baseball player. Um, I just don't, I don't like anything about the guy. Uh, Freddie Galvis from the Reds. He just rubs me the wrong way, I guess. Dodgers World Series card. Chris Paddock from the Padres. Cabrian Hayes from Pittsburgh. Nice rookie card. 
Luis Severino from the Yankees. Shane Bieber. I like that guy. Cesar Hernandez from the Indians. Nick Solak from the Rangers. Uh, we've got two Braves. So the Braves missed out earlier, but the Braves catch one here. So Freeman and Ozuna get them, uh, get them this card. So that's a Braves card. Juan Soto from the Nationals. And Max Fried from the Braves. Well, there, there we go, from the Braves. All right, that's our first eight packs. First eight packs done. No hits. So maybe uh, maybe Hal's theory is, is still accurate. We're expecting that the hit is going to be in this stack, but we will uh, we will see. Okay. Now you were saying I should check the backs, the back card. That's a Sixto Sanchez, Jesus Sanchez Marlins card. That one looks right. I wonder why that's happening. There, there must be a button that I'm hitting that is flipping it back to football. That's really strange. Here we can uh, we can solve that problem. That's so that's so weird. I mean, I, obviously I have them both there because sometimes I do football. Um, but I don't know why the foot the football will keep getting turned on. Archer, good to see you, man. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the baseball card show. <clears throat> These are not wanting to cooperate tonight. I like a good lurking. Paul Cutsinger's here lurking too. Did I? You guys see that? You guys see that it's the same card on the top of two packs in a row. I'm interested to see what the rest of that pack looks like. Hopefully they're not identical. Let's see. We're, we're going to just go through this one right now. Jerks and Profar, San Diego. Hunter Dozier from the Royals. We've got two Dodgers, Mitch White and Cabert Ruiz. Yadier Molina from St. Louis. Matt Chapman. From the Athletics, the Twins, Kepler, Sandy Alcantara from Miami, Spencer Turnbull from the Tigers, and AJ Puck from the Athletics. Now, this pack here, same? Definitely not the same. It was just weird that it was two packs in a row that had the exact same card on top. All right, we'll, uh, we'll move those nine that we just went through and we'll finish opening some packs here. Okay. Last pack. All right. Let's do that. And let's do that. And this, I don't want those there. Hey, I'll, I'll leave that bow hanging out there for you, Greg. Uh, if you can see it, right. Is a hint of Bo Bichette. This is the 1972 lineup, actually, Paul. Um, the Marlins. We've got a Whit Merrifield from the Royals. Victor Reyes from the Tigers. Jose Barrios from Minnesota. Padres. Kyle Gibson from the Rangers. Scott Kingery from the Phillies. Shane Bieber Indians. James Karinchak, Indians. Brandon Lowe, uh, I believe that's Tampa Bay, right? Tampa Bay. Kyle Schwarber from the Cubs. Nolan Arenado from the Rockies. Not for much longer, but camera got turned. Oh, it did. I bumped the camera. You guys are all on top of it tonight. I appreciate the feedback. Um, the Cubs, Alec Mills. Jose Altuve from the Astros. Jonathan Scope. Oh, we got a we got an upside down card here. Tigers. This is an Aaron Judge. I don't know what's special about this. Steve, can you tell me what's special about this Judge card? 
I guess it's an action. This is the action variant. Because normally it's like a it's a portrait kind of photo for most of these cards. So I guess that's his ac his action variant. All right. I'm going to I'm going to pull that one aside. I think that's a that's probably a pretty valuable card. Look by the number on the back. Yeah, it's the you can see it here. Okay. Uh, come on, focus for me. How it's see how it's action in that little curve there? That's the answer. Action. Very cool. I didn't even know that that was there. Uh, all right. Uh, we got Mr. DeGrom. Uh, did, hmm. I don't know if I hit the... I don't think I hit the Yankee button. Uh, then the Mets. Justin Smoke from the Giants. Profar again from the Padres. Jesus Lazardo from Oakland. Jesus Sanchez from... I believe he's Miami, right? Is that, and they're not giving me a lot of clues here, but I'm pretty sure he's... Marlins rookie card. Colton Wong from St. Louis. Mike Minor Athletics. This is Dick Allen. White Sox. Okay, I was like, man, you gotta you gotta help me out a little bit. Denilson LeMay from the Padres. Robbie Ray Blue Jays. Kyle Tucker Astros. Danny Duffy from the Royals, Max Scherzer from the Nats, and Trey Turner from the Nationals. You want me to pull? You, you're not comfortable with Judge just being in the pile. I will pull him out. Judge is coming out of the pile. Here's Mr. Judge. Well, uh, we'll, here, we'll we'll give him his own seat. He can hang out right here. Uh, all right, so we got a little bit more to go through here. Okay, Toronto. Mike Trout in action. I think he plays for the Angels. Uh, White Sox, Grandal. Blake Trainin from the Dodgers. Conforto from New York. Giants. Twins, Kenta Maeda. That is a Padres Tatis two home run card. That's pretty cool. Astros, Joey Bart rookie in action. That's the Giants. The Orioles, the Cubs, Gio Urshela from the Yankees. What we got here? Two Rockies, rookies, Ryan Castellani and Ashton Goudeau from the Rockies, Marcana from the Athletics, Verlander from Houston. Houston is right there. Uh, ALERA AL leaders, Bieber, Keuchel, and Bassett. That's going to have to be split up for sure. Yastrzemski from the Giants, Miguel Castro Mets, Tim Anderson from the White Sox, Blackmon Rockies, Roberto Clemente. Now, there's a whole series of these. I think there's 25 different Clemente cards, but these will all go to Pittsburgh. So that's a Pittsburgh card. Glaber Torres goes to the Yankees. Jamie Berea from the Angels. We've got ALRBI leaders. Uh, we've got Abreu, Voigt, Ramirez, and Trout. Man, uh, this would be a cool four autograph card, um, but it is what it is, so we'll split that one up. And Spencer Howard from the Phillies. Garrett Hampson from the Rockies, Pablo Lopez, Miami, Max Kepler from the Twins, Cody Bellinger, Dodgers. This is another Dodger card. Uh, it's Mookie Betts on that one. Jalen Beeks from the Rays. And we have two Marlins rookies, Sixto Sanchez and Jesus Sanchez. Um, I obviously don't follow the Marlins, um, but I think it'll be confusing to see pitchers coming out that are constantly named Sanchez. That's going to be uh, odd that that's a Miami card. Okay. So the pattern has he held true so far. Um, the hit is going to be in this third stack, which is pretty cool. Uh, that definitely means if you're going to your hobby shop, man, go. I would I would dig through those packs. Point, point to the ones on the left. We'll try and keep track of... Um, We'll do these one at a time and see if we can tell 
which pack it is. Because if it's the same one every time, man, I'd go to your hobby shop and have them pick the right one. Uh, Hanser Alberto, is, is he from, this doesn't really say, it looks like he's the guy in, on the Orioles, though, not the guy d diving to tag him out. So the Hanser is Baltimore. Two rookie stars from the Yankees, Clark Schmidt and Estevan Florial. I got a Clark Schmidt auto, I think, in one of my Donruss boxes. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. Two Yankees. There's another Bichette. Clayton Kershaw from the Dodgers. Nick Solak from the Rangers. Got uh, that same card again. So this is where now I kind of feel like I wish I would have pulled it out. Um, I'll pull this out as a reminder. But this is one of those situations where, if I can, I should I should toss this one to the Nationals. But I think somebody said that they had both of those cards. Um, but we'll we'll pull this one out just as a reminder. Oh, oh my gosh! Vita Blue autograph. Wow, that is wow. That's a super cool hit. Uh, I was not expecting an old time named pit. Wow. That's incredible. I'll take a I'll take a Vita Blue. Who has who has Oakland tonight? Uh, I don't remember. Oakland, Oakland. Greg, Greg, you've got the Vita Blue. That's that's really neat. Um, very cool. All right. So that's an A's card, and then we've got the Brewers and Dustin May from the Dodgers. Well, okay. So it was in that top top pack on the on the right side of the box. We can, we'll open the rest of the packs now. Man, that's a cool auto. Uh, old, old vets. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to grab that card. And we're going to take a little history lesson here. Try to be super careful with it. All right. He played. In Oakland, 69, then back to double A, and then 70 and 71 with Oakland. But he had 17 years in the in the majors, so uh, he had many years beyond that. But he's from Louisiana, born in 49. Uh, man, that's super cool. All right. Vita Blue. Vita Blue. Man. All right. Let's rip some packs. We're almost done with box one. It took us about... 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I do a lot of talking. Try not to do too much talking, but Steve got a Reggie Jackson. Oh man, Mr. October. That would be a cool auto to have. I was excited that I got a one of those dual player cards that had two Indians on it. I thought that was a win on its own, but man, players from the 60s and 70s. Cameron Deering's already trying to buy up your autograph. We still have three boxes to go. That was a that was a good start. Come on, cellophane, let go of me. There we go. Square those up. Shift them over here. All right, we'll go a little faster now with some of these. Ian Happ, Nick Castellanos from the Reds. Three players on this one, Darvish, Davies, and Freed. <clears throat> Phillies. Devin Williams from the Brewers. Danny Jansen, Blue Jays. Hernandez. Got two Royals here, Heath and Singer. Freddie Freeman. Solaire. Ayura, Matt Chapman from the A's. I feel like anytime I get a hit uh, in one of my own boxes, it's almost always, almost always Matt Chapman for some reason. Jose Barrios from Minnesota. Pete Alonzo, Mets card. Joey Wendell from the Rays. J.D. Davis from the Mets. Candelario from the Tigers. Yarbrough from the Rays. Brad Keller from the Royals. Chris Bubik from the Royals. That's a rookie card. That's pretty cool. And that is, that little stripe down the card, that's actually like an accent on his jersey. That's not a damage on the card, but that's uh, that's cool. Aaron Nola, 
James McCann, Christian Pache, rookie from the Braves, Randy Dobnak from the Twins. Winter Games kickoff in Japan, 1972. That'll be a randomizer. Did I pull? Hmm. I feel like I forgot it. Did I not? Did I forget it? No. I was worried that I forgot to pull that award card out, but it looks like I did. We've got a Rangers card. We've got a White Sox, a Yankee, and an Angel on the batting leaders card. LeMahieu, Anderson, and Fletcher. And then another one um, with Yankees, Braves, and Houston. And we've got Matt Olson from the A's, Muncie from the Dodgers, Boba Shed in action from Toronto, Ender Inciarte from the Braves, and Garrett Cole. All right, one little pack to go, and then we've got three more boxes yet. Okay, Rays. Rookie stars Bart, Varsho, and Jeffers. I like that one. Tim Anderson from the White Sox. The Willie Mays World Series MVP Award. Randomizer. Mariners. Dodgers. Orioles. Evan White from the Mariners. Rookie card. Gregor Polanco from the Pirates. Grossman Athletics. Joey Gallo from Texas, Crawford Mariners, Miguel Cabrera. Uh, he did some damage to my Indians in the first game. Hit a hit a home run, didn't even know because it was so uh, deep into the snow. Miguel Cabrera for the Tigers. Will Smith from the Dodgers. Justin Upton. Angels, Kyle Lewis with his rookie trophy. Uh, that's the Mariners. Garrett Cole from the Yankees. Gio Gonzalez, White Sox. Got two Phillies rookies here, Alec Bohm and Spencer Howard. Mike Tauschman from the Yankees. Michael Pineda, Twins. Reese Hoskins, Phillies. Mookie Betts, Dodgers. Donovan Solano, Giants. Rizzo from the Cubs. Nick Castellanos with the Reds. Casey Mize, rookie. These new age performers are doing pretty well on eBay right now. So these are, these are good catches. Um, but that's Detroit. Whit Merrifield from the Royals, Tyler O'Neill from Cardinals, and Zach Wheeler from the Phillies to round out box one. Well, that was a solid opening box. We got uh, we got a nice auto. We got a uh, a nice hit on the Aaron Judge action. I like it. And uh, we've got uh, we've got Boston and Arizona fighting out for the basement right now. So we'll have to see how that shapes up in round two here. We have Christian Yelich on top of this one. I don't have the camera angle for cards this big. There we go. Christian Yelich. That goes to the Brewers. And then we got to get some packs out of the box. Okay. Now we said that this stack over here, that's going to be our lucky stack. I'm trying not to bump Vita while we do this. <clears throat> and then we'll, uh, we'll kind of get into these. So here we go. Box two. going on in that stack. 
we'll save that one for the end of this first stack. It might just be our parallel, but there's definitely an upside down card in that one. And one last pack here. All right. So we'll, like I said, we'll set these off to the side. We'll do, well, I want you to be able to see them. They're just sitting right there. And then we'll get into this big, big old stack. Okay. Here we go. Raise. That's another Rays card. Rizzo from the Cubs. Got uh, rookies, uh, Red Sox and Rangers on that one. No button. Spencer Howard, Phillies rookie. Boyhood photos of the stars. Nolan Arenado from the Rockies. Sensatella from the Rockies. Anaya Oakland. Dominic Smith, Mets. Charlie Blackmon from the Rockies. Pirates. Bryce Harper is with the Phillies. Mariners. Oh, wow. This one's cool. Mount Castle. I'm, I'm guessing, but I'm betting this card goes for $20 on eBay. Uh, the Mount Castle cards have been going crazy lately. That's uh, that's pretty nice. And the centering's not terrible, but left to right, it's it's off for sure. But it's not, it's not awful. All right. Mount Castle goes there. That's Baltimore. Yavaldi from the Red Sox. Abraham Toro, Houston. Escobar from Arizona. Cabrian Hayes and Jose Garcia from the National League. Shohei Atani from the Angels. Josh Naylor, Indians. Josh Donaldson, former Indian, but he's on the Twins. Freddie Freeman, Atlanta. Mike Soraka, Atlanta. Johnny Bench from the Reds. Edwin Encarnacion from the White Sox. We've got Dylan Carlson and Evan White, uh, rookie stars. McCutcheon from the Phillies. He's on my fantasy team. Uh, who else is in the fantasy? Um, I'm, uh, I'm digging it so far, but I, I'm, it's going to kill me that I have to manage my, my roster every day. Uh, Stamont from the Royals. DeGrom from the Mets. This is a Rays card. It's hard to tell sometimes. You just got to base it on the player on the card. Longoria from the Giants. Got Cubs and White Sox on this card. Got a Luis Robert. Nice. Yandy Diaz from the Rays. And another one of these. We've seen one of these before. All right. Joey Gallo from Texas. We have Nate Pearson and Tom Hatch from the Blue Jays. Miguel Cabrera from Detroit. Grisham Padres. Goldschmidt Cardinals. Carson Kelly, Arizona. Jimenez Tigers. Three Houston players. Lance Lynn from Texas. Dexter Fowler, Cardinals. Fowler, Fowler. Um, I always think that's a funny name uh, when you have like baseball related names. Um, Fowler just seems like a funny name to have as a baseball player. Jose Ramirez from the Indians. Tommy Malone from the Braves. Jose Ramirez again. Adam Eaton from the Nationals. We've got William Contreras and Tyler Stevenson from the National League. Keston Hyura from Milwaukee. God, the centering on these cards is just... Not good. Howie Kendrick, Nationals. Adam Wainwright, Cardinals. Juan Soto in action. Another Nats card. There's a Mount Castle Dahlbeck card again. And the Cy Young Award. Acuna Jr. Pujols in the Angels uniform. Yeah, I guess that's right. I, I, I can't get him off of St. Louis for some reason in my head. Uh, but yeah, Angels makes sense. Oakland. Brandon Belt from the Giants, uh, DJ LeMahieu from the Yankees, and Julio Teran from the Angels. Okay, so that's all but 
one pack left out of this first set, out of box two. So let's see, uh, let's see what's happening in here. We have Jacob Stallings from the Pirates, Sixto Sanchez from Miami, Martin Maldonado from Houston, Cody Bellinger, Dodgers, Austin Riley, Archie Bradley from the Reds, and uh, we got to do one of these slow reveals, right? It's card number 205 for those of you that have a checklist in front of you. We can see here it is Nathan Eovaldi from the Red Sox. Let's see what that gets us. Oh, it's a black one. That's pretty cool. Nathan Eovaldi, black parallel, Red Sox. that one off to the side here. Shohei from the Angels and Kevin Pillar from the Rockies. Okay. No idea the rarity. I don't think this is numbered. I have no idea the rarity of a black one, but there you go. I just wonder if they're, it, it feels like some of these one per box kind of cards, they should be numbered in some way. Like it'd be nice to know there's 50 of them, but they're not numbered. Well, that's, I mean, that's still something, I guess. As long as you know there's 50, I guess that's an okay way to go. One, I mean, one per box is kind of crazy. That makes them pretty rare. There can't, there can't be like 500 or a thousand of them because and this is a this is something I should probably be able to find somewhere. We've got a chrome something in this box. How many boxes? How many hobby boxes of this entire set do you think were made? Um, those are numbers I always wonder about that are not easily uh, maybe they're easily found, but I, I don't feel like that's something that the that Topps publishes. Uh, I'd love to be able to calculate like total population of cards. I wonder if we'll get our hit in this stack or if it's going to be in the last stack again. Because that would be pretty incredible if they were always putting the hits on the right side. All right. Here we go. Move these over. We'll cut to just before that chrome card. All right, here we go. Brady Singer, Kansas City. Myers Padres. Well, I can't even see it. Patrick Corbin from the Nationals. Jackie Bradley Jr. from the Red Sox. Chris Bassett, Oakland. Cubs. I'm going to move a little quicker through these. Tigers. Hasley. Jackie Bradley Jr. again. Hudson. Aaron Judge in action. We already have an in action card of him. <laughs> Marlins. Diamondbacks, uh, we've got a Dylan Carlson rookie in action for the Cardinals. Lane Thomas for the Cardinals. There's a Tatis. Man, I hope he has a monster year. Verlander for Houston. Soto for the Tigers. Vladimir Guerrero, he's on my fantasy team. Hopefully he uh, puts something together this year for me. Mateo and Olivares, uh, we'll break those up in a bit. There's another Tatis. So whoever was sitting on San Diego, they're working now. Dodgers, World Series champions. Casey Mize, rookie. I think this is the second one of these we've seen. Uh, the Rays. Got Joe Adele and Nick Madrigal. Diamondbacks. White Sox. Hunter Alberto from the Orioles again. Got two rookie Yankees. Clark Schmidt and Estevan Florio. We saw that before. Charlie Morton from the Rays. Austin Riley. Got three Marlins here. The Reds. The Rangers. Texas. Elvis Andrus. CJ Cron from Detroit. 
Pete Alonzo from the Mets, and Jeff Samarja from the Giants. All right, the Mariners have moved into the basement as, uh, as we continued going through this. Mariners and Pirates. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Something fancy. Josh Bell from the Pirates. Razel Iglesias from the Reds. Nelson Cruz from the Twins. Uh, we got our Most Valuable Player Award, but let's see if we can do a, a nice reveal on this. So I don't know what this card's going to be, but it looks fancy. Chris Sale Chrome. I was hoping for something cooler. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Chris Sale, but uh, it looked cooler from the edge. Chris Sale Chrome. Not numbered. Oh, it is numbered. Numbered out of 572. 62 out of 572. That's a see, this is the the scale and the size of baseball cards that blows my mind. So there are 572 of this card. And there, there are not one of these chrome cards even in every box. And then there's probably a chrome version of every card. So there's 500 cards in the set. And there's 572 of this one. That's 25,000 chrome cards that are made. And there's less than one a box. So how many boxes do you think are made? 50,000? 100,000 boxes? I wonder what the... I, I'd love to know that number. I, I really like to understand the scale and scope of the craziness that is ma manufacturing baseball cards. Anyway, that's a Red Sox card. Uh, Dick Allen and Jose Abreu from the White Sox. Acuna Jr. from the Braves. Red Sox. Luis Garcia, rookie Nationals. Hanser Alberto from the Orioles. Miguel Rojas to Miami. Home run leaders. We saw one of these already. I'll have to split that up. Joe Adele, rookie from the Angels. Max Scherzer, Tommy Edmond, John Lester, Jacob Junis, Nico Horner, Marlins, Wilson Contreras, Yastrzemski from the Giants, Alex Bregman. That's, uh, that's Houston, right? I think that's Houston. Pretty sure that's Houston. Dodgers. Another Clemente card for Pittsburgh. Brett Anderson from the Brewers. Thames. Julio Urias from the Dodgers. Nunez from the Orioles. Is Drupal Cabrera from the Nationals? I didn't know where he ended up, but I guess he's at the Nationals. The Cubs, Yu Darvish. Andrew Tarr from the Yankees, Jake Cave Twins, Griffin Canning from Los Angeles, Austin Slater Giants, and Rick Porcello from the Mets. All right, so that's stack two. We're two-thirds of the way through the second box. So Greg thinks two million, two million per card. Also, our autograph or relic is in this stack again. That would be amazing. I wonder if anybody can find like a blog post or something, maybe some card card breaker has written about this set and if they have found that to be true also. I just I find that interesting. It seems like it would make sense for them to randomize it. But production being what it is, I'm sure it's harder to do that. I'm amazed they get cards upside down in these these packs. I'd love to know how that happens. Is it automated? Is there a person that's inserting those cards? How does all that work? I think Kevin Evans has said earlier, like, I would love to be able to walk the factory and kind of see how this is all done. I'm a software guy, man, so I'm very curious. Like, is this all robotic? Is it all, like, assembly line kind of stuff? Are there people touching all these cards? Because, you know, sometimes you'll get a card and it just has a ding corner.
Yeah, here, let's let's take a look. We talked about 527. Does he have a number on the card that is 527? He, I don't see anything in there specifically that's... He has 2,000th K of the career in 16, 26 innings. I don't see 527 necessarily as a number for him at all. Three hundred three lifetime ERA is pretty good. Anyway, oh, they're all out of five seventy two. Thanks, Eric. That makes it easier. I wonder why they. Oh, because they they wanted to do five hundred plus, and then seventy two is the se year nineteen seventy two because that's what we're doing. Maybe that's how they did it. Okay, here we go. Two Braves and a Padre. I'm gonna I'm gonna set these aside. Um, but I'm going to, well, how am I going to do that? I said, if they own the majority of the card, they get the majority of the card. So we're going to do that. Braves, Nelson Cruz, Minnesota, Peraza, Dodgers, Red Sox, lots of players. There are two Padres and two Dodgers. So no matter what, I've got to break that one up. Two Braves too. Bryce Harper from the Phillies. Jeff McNeil from the Mets, Marlins. Uh, that's Correa from Houston again. Christian Walker, Yelich, Rookie of the Year Award. Another Bo Bichette. This seems to be a very common card, this Bichette, because I've got three of them myself already. Um, Toronto. Phillies. Digital watches were introduced. I saw Hal open one of these. That watch cost $2,100. It's actually kind of modern looking now. That's kind of cool. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll randomize that to somebody. Houston. Pirates. Nate Pearson, Blue Jay rookie. Austin Meadows. Luis Robert. White Sox. Two Cardinals rookies, three White Sox rookies, Mariners, Rays. We gotta be coming up on our hit here. Um, Marlins, Royals, Padres, Cabrian Hayes rookie, Luis Severino Yankees. We only have a few cards left here. Baez from the Cubs. Tyra Estrada from the Yankees. Vladimir Blue Jays. Getting nervous. Mariners. Oh, I have one pack left. I didn't I didn't open one pack. How about that? Cubs. White Sox. How did I not open a pack? That's amazing. So it was the last pack in that stack, or we got ripped off. Well, actually, how did we miss? No, it's right here. How did we miss that, though? The hit was it. We just went through it. Maybe it's stuck to the bottom of a card. I have it right here. It was not an auto. It was a patch. It is a... Ian Hap Cubs patch. I don't know how we missed that earlier. It must have stuck to a card. I didn't even feel a thicker card, but there we are. Ian Hap Cubs. All right. One last pack. I don't know how I skipped a pack. Get all excited. Okay. Houston, White Sox, Miami, Splitsville, Mets, Twins, Twins over here, Yankees, Rangers, and Pirates, Josh Bell. Okay. That was box two. Man, we're going to have a ton of cards here. Still two more boxes. Yeah, let's find out. Uh, we have some more stands we can. 
pop Mr. Hap up here. And if we move this back, move this over here. Chris Sale can hang out also. There we go. Okay. Box number three. Seattle and Arizona still uh, still fighting it out for the basement. No no big changes there in that uh, in that box. This is something when I first started participating in breaks, not doing the breaks myself. This was something that I noticed a lot is that it seemed like whatever team I picked always got so few cards, and it always felt like a kind of a rip. So that's that's why I started the whole if you get the fewest cards, you get your money back deal because. I don't know. It just feels like the right thing to do. At least, at least if you came in last, at least you feel like you got something because you're still going to get your cards. You're just not going to get. You're going to get your money back too. Uh, so Masahiro Tanaka from the Yankees. It's another big card. And here we go. I mean, the hit was in that stack. It was. It was in this first pile, but it was just a patch this time. It's very strange though. I don't know how we missed that. All right. So this is going to be our going to be a hit pile. And we'll put this one next to us and then we'll open these. Okay. Let's go. Oh my gosh, we have so many packs up. We got basically four. we're only half done. Half done. A lot of cards. These packs are starting to get staticky when they sit in my garbage can here. Um, if I throw too much of this kind of stuff in there at once, uh, everything just gets super staticky in there, and then nothing wants to stay, and all wants to stick to my hand. And I've got a bunch. I've got a bunch of wrappers that are just on the floor here. What I need to do is open the window. Though. It's getting super hot. Ooh, I see another chrome card. That's good. Here, let's get a little window action. All right. Okay. See if we can speed some things up. If we find something fun, we can stop, but I'm gonna try and try and cruise here. All right. White Sox, Juan Soto. Uh, it's a split. We have a ton of split cards. Los Angeles, Michael Chavis, Braves. Oh. I hit the wrong button, so I need to hold back on a Diamondbacks push. Um, Yankees, White Sox, Dodgers, that's Blue Jays again, St. Louis, Royals, Indians, Nats, Mets, Devin Williams from the Brewers, Astros, Pirates, Braves, Joey Gallo from Texas, Cunha, Angels, Dobnak from the Twins, Rays, come on Rays, Blue Jays, Marlins, Ryan McBroom from Kansas City, Cy Young, St. Louis, and the Indians. All right, let's see uh, see what our Chrome card is here. Miami. We've got another AL leaders. It's blue. It's a player from the Nationals. So somebody's getting a Nats card. And the player is Juan Soto. Wow, that's a nice card. Juan Soto. Number to 572. 443 out of 572. 
Nice, Washington. Okay. Um, the Beside Adventure, that's a movie card. All right, that's going to be randomized. Then we have the Cubs, White Sox, Red Sox, Houston. Rookie of the Year, another Bichette, Pirates, Athletics, Sanchez from the Nationals, Jose Quintana, Verdugo, Yelich, Braves, Nelson Cruz, Luis Robert, two Cardinals, Gio Gonzalez from the White Sox, two Phillies, including Alec Bohm, Dodgers, Athletics, Austin Meadows from the Rays. I feel like we've got seven of this Correa card already. Houston. There's a Diamondbacks card. So I'm going to put that down, but I accidentally hit their button once earlier, which is why they're at eight instead of seven. So they're at eight now. Now our count is officially right. Cubs, Yankees, the Castellanos from the Reds, Devin Williams uh, from Milwaukee, Cisco from the Orioles, Matt Kemp, Yankees, Nate Pearson rookie. We've had a few of that. Hyura from the Brewers, Alex Cobb, Orioles, Pete Fairbanks from the Rays, Joe Adele and Nick Madrigal again, Athletics, Brewers, and Diamondbacks, climbing their, their way out of the basement, Diamondbacks. All right, next, next stack of packs here. Yeah, Thomas, I'd say uh, that was a good pickup, that uh, that last-minute Washington Nationals trade. Well done. All right, so I, I think even if we were to find the hit in this set of packs... I think the odds still say you want to go for that right side if you're in your hobby shop. I would I would take the odds on that your hit is going to be on that right side. Now, you never know if, like, they open the boxes or move things around, or maybe they know that and they pull packs. I mean, you never know what the guys at the hobby shop are doing. Those guys seem to constantly just have stacks of cards, at least in my local shop. They just have constant. There's just stacks and stacks of cards. It's like when they're when there's no one in the store, they're just opening packs because uh, I don't know where they're getting all these cards from. Otherwise, but the guy that runs the shop, he says he's not even a baseball fan. Like he primarily is a basketball guy. Uh, here, we gotta find a safer place for Juan Soto. I mean, that's even like nicely centered. That's a cool looking card, Mr. Juan Soto. There. Okay. Here we go. Cubs, Rockies. That's two Tigers. Jimenez from the White Sox. Yankees. Jake Cave Twins. Cubs. Another Juan Soto. Get matchy matchy there. Max Freed from the Braves. Schwarber from the Cubs. Chris Paddock, Padres. Cabrian Hayes again. Alec Bohm. There we go. There's an Alec Bone by himself card. Phillies, Blue Jays, three Marlins, Lynn Diaz, Nick Niedert, Reds, Jimenez from the White Sox again, Lucas Sims from the Reds. Got to divide that one up. Gleyber Torres, Yankees, Ryan McMahon, Rockies, Dodgers, Royals, Scherzer, Tommy Edmond, Michael Franco, Mitch Moreland, Victor Reyes, Joey Votto, Jay Cronenworth rookie. There's your Cronenworth. Somebody was asking about Cronenworth earlier. It's actually, that's actually a really well-centered card. That's really nice. 
I would say that one's just about perfect centering wise. Jake Cronenworth. Three Tigers. Souza from the Cubs. Then and now, Billy Williams, Juan Soto. Now that's Cubs and Nats, so I'm going to have to split that one. Houston, Giants, and Athletics. They don't even sell single packs at your place, Greg? Um, I think my guys do a ton of business that way. I mean, they definitely sell the boxes too, but I feel like every time I go in there, I'll just buy a pack of something. Uh, I, I like them being in business, so I'm happy to support them a little bit. Um, and right now, they're the only place I can even get top loaders. So it's uh, they, their prices have gone up, and they've limited the number you can buy. But uh, it's, it's painful. You can't find supplies anywhere. Miami, Whit Merrifield, another splitter. Tatis. Chris Bassett, and we've got an upside down card here. Bryce Harper from the Phillies. This is the action variant of Bryce Harper. Very cool. Put him aside. That's a Phillies card. Angels, Cubs, Padres. A's. Hunter Dozier, Finjin Ryu, Kyle Lewis, that's Seattle, Justin Turner, Lane Thomas, Reds, Dodgers, Scherzer from Washington, Trey Turner from the Nationals. Fun story about that. Um, one of my best friends, uh, his wife's cousin is Trey Turner. Brandon Lowe, uh, that's Tampa Bay, as I recall. I'm, I'm always never, yeah, Tampa Bay. I just want to make sure I get it right. Uh, Cardinals, Yadier Molina. There's another Mountcastle uh, by himself, rookie card. Baltimore. Senzatella from the Rockies. Another Clemente for Pittsburgh. Tyler Malle from the Reds. Trevor May from the Twins. Laeda from the Twins. Another Tatis card. Danny Duffy from the Royals, Austin Hayes, Albert Pujols, Toro from Houston, Arenado Rockies, Syndergaard from the Mets, and Dallas Keuchel from the White Sox. Okay, uh, we did it again. That same stack is going to have another hit. Amazing. I get Bryce safe. You won't be able to see him. I'm running out of space, but we'll uh, put him aside here. Keep bumping the camera, too. There we go. I'd like to see fewer patches, more autos, more players from the 60s and 70s autos. That's, that's what I want to see. The one thing that I've noticed in these packs is that you can see if it's a relic because the card, like the, the backs of these cards are all this gray, but the relics are white. The relics have a white, at least a white edge on the card. So they're, they're pretty easy to see if you have a relic. Seattle's trying to hold on to that bottom spot there. Ooh, we have a red chrome in here too. I don't know what the reds are, uh, what their production count is, but we've got a red chrome. That's pretty cool. So there's going to be, it looks like there's going to be an auto. I don't see a relic in here. We'll make this the, we'll make the red one the bottom of what we're about to open. Okay. That's another split. Yastrzemski. We've got three Yankees on that card. Dodgers, Braves, Yavaldi from the Red Sox. So you got the match. 
That's actually a different card too. No, it was Chris Sale. Where's the Eovaldi parallel? Oh, there's a black. How was I set that one over here? So that's the black version of that card. Okay, back to it. Blue Jays, Bieber, two Indians there. Spencer Howard from the Phillies, Garrett Hampson, Rockies, Verlander from Houston, Taylor Williams, Austin Riley, Archie Bradley, and this one's going to be a Reds card too. And it is ooh, Joey Votto. So Reds, uh, Reds and Reds. And I owe the Indians a hit. So this is out of 372, the red ones. Joey Votto out of 372. All right. So the Indians have one extra bump. I don't think it's going to matter. They only have 12. I'm sure there's another Indians card in here, though. Plus, there's a bunch that have the Indians splitting with, like, Bieber and Jose Ramirez and stuff. Okay. Tigers, Athletics, Cubs, Castellanos from the Reds. There's a splitter. That's the one I want autographs on. Pete Alonzo from the Mets, Giants. Luis Robert again from the White Sox. McCovey, this is the Giants. Robbie Ray from Toronto. Houston, Brewers, Chapman, Clayton Kershaw from the Dodgers, Marquez, Rockies, Diamondbacks. Got Jimmy Lambert, two Chicago stars there. Different cities, though, or different teams, though. Dodgers, DeGrom from the Mets, Giants. Chris Bubik again from Kansas City. Phillies. Solaire Royals. Bieber. There's an Indians card I'm not going to hit the button for. Cesar Hernandez Indians. Braves and Reds. Cardinals. Mets. Giants. Yankees, Braves, and Houston. Matt Olson from the Athletics, Brad Keller, Royals, McCutcheon is the Phillies. That's a Rays. Athletics, Giants. Where is our? Oh, I still have more cards. Okay, I was like, man, how did that happen again? Rockies and Athletics. Always makes me nervous when I'm into the last of the cards here. We haven't seen the hit yet, but Mariners, Dodgers, Trey Turner, Washington, Red Sox, Luis Arreyes from the Twins. Wow, Tatis Jr. That's a nice card too. Like I said, these New Age performers have done really well on eBay so far. I'm sure that's a, that's a good one as well. San Diego, Cubs, Luis Torres from the Yankees. Angels, Miguel Rojas from Miami, Samarja, Yankees, running out of cards, Luis Robert, Scott Kingery, Phillies, Luke Voigt, Yankees, oh, a red auto, there we go, Andre Semenis from the Mets, out of 72, that's pretty awesome, third last card, that's amazing. Andre Jimenez from the Mets. We'll give him some special care here in a minute. And the Rays and two Marlins. Okay. Whew. Okay, Ian, you just got demoted. I've got a spot for you here in the back. We'll move our Andre Jimenez red auto nicely centered. I mean, that, there's nothing wrong with that card at all. That's beautiful. Uh, there's our auto. Okay. So we have two, we have one box left. One box left. Seattle is hanging on to the crown. 
And then we got a bunch of randomization to do, uh, which is going to be painful, but it is what it is. Somebody said, uh, did he screw up his signature and write over it? I think he did. I don't, I don't think so. Here, let's take a closer look. I don't think so. I think that those... Do you think he wrote it twice? It looks like he wrote it twice, yeah. Interesting. Unless that's just his style. Like, maybe his A and his H are supposed to be on top of each other? Or is it... No, it's a G, so never mind. Yeah, it's interesting. The Mets are owned by Brian H. Brian H. has the Mets tonight. All right, last one. We got a Wilson Contreras box loader. Um, I haven't seen how those have done price wise. These big cards. Um, I I kind of like the big cards. I think it's kind of a fun concept. I have a I have a bunch of Indians ones that I've grabbed off eBay and stuff, uh, like a five by seven size even, which are bigger than these. Last box. Okay, we've got. All of our packs here in a row, and then I've got this stack just off to the side in, in front of Vida there. And then this stack will go kind of in front. Just want to make sure you guys can see them all. And then this is the stack that I'm going to open. If no, that's an on card auto. Um, it's not a sticker auto, it is on the card. I'd love to see who what are you saying? Are there tank errands in this set? That would be super cool. I have I have two more boxes of this. Obviously, I have the one that's kind of my backdrop way back here. Uh, and then for cheaper than I could get anywhere else, Tops had them. I don't remember who mentioned it. it was Thomas or Steven or somebody in the group uh, mentioned that they were for sale on the Tops website. And I ordered one there for even cheaper than I could get it through Harold. Um, and his prices are usually twenty to thirty dollars cheaper than you can get them anywhere. So I ordered one from there as well because that's all you were allowed to order. Um, and that one arrived today. So I think I'm going to open. I'll open personally. I'll open the one that I got from Tops. And then I have this one that's sitting here. I don't know if I want to sell it. I don't know if I want to open three whole boxes of this uh, for myself. I'm not even sure that I like this set, honestly. I mean, it's. They're they're cool. I like the design, but I I feel so negative about how bad the cutting is. Um, I I mean, in my mind, they use the same machines for everything, and I feel like the series one, the twenty twenty one series one cards didn't have this kind of bad cutting. So I don't I don't know. It's just something about this set, maybe. Okay, Reds, Orioles. That's two Yankees on that card. Got a most valuable player. Charlie Morton from Tampa Bay. That is two Braves and a National. So that's a Braves card. Orioles. Brewers. Eric Thames from the Nationals. Another award card. Mariners. Dodgers. Kyle Lewis. Garrett Cole from the Yankees, Jorge Soler from the Royals, Michael Wacha. I don't know him. I think I said that before too. Michael Wacha from the Mets. Another Acuna Jr. Red Sox, Cabrera from the Tigers, Will Smith from the Dodgers. Come on, say my hand properly, please. Okay. Upton from the Angels, Giants, Rizzo from the Cubs. Shane Green from the Braves. That's two Mets. Ali Sanchez and Franklin Cologne. John Lester. Jacob Junis. Reese Hoskins from the Phillies. You got the big version of that one too. Mookie Betts. Dodgers World Series. Casey Mize from Tigers. Brandon Lowe from the Rays. This is a 
Dick Allen, Carlos Santana, White Sox Indians card. I have to split that one. Houston. Phillies. Jackie Bradley. Guerrero. Jorge Mateo and Edward Olivares. Rookies. Another Tatis. Austin Riley from the Braves. Pedro Severino, we got an upside down card coming here from the Orioles. This is Nationals and Braves. And let's take a peek. It's 437, so it's also a short print. Because uh, anything over 400 is a short print card anyway. But this one's upside down. It's Rich Hill from the Twins. Let's see what we got. It's not numbered, but it is a black. A black Rich Hill. So the Twins get that card. Verlander from Houston and the Tigers. Man, I have some sorting to do in the morning. That is for sure. Okay. Giants, Josh Bell from the Pirates, Joe Adele, Angels, Nelson Cruz, Twins, Sonny Gray, Nick Solak, Trevor Bauer, Giants, Rick Porcello, Luis Garcia, Hanser Alberto, Miguel Rojas. We've had a few of those for sure. Jackie Bradley from the Red Sox. Home Run Leaders, White Sox. Jeff McNeil from the Mets. Mets have done well tonight. Not the most cards, but definitely some good cards. Athletics, Mets. Marlins, Brady Singer from the Royals, Will Myers, Dylan Carlson from the Rock, uh, the Cardinals. That's a rookie card. Nationals, Kingery, Luke Voigt, Diamondbacks, and another split. I mean, I have, I would say I have like almost eight packs worth of cards we need to split. This is crazy. This is not a, I mean, as long as you guys are in for the time, I got the time, but I feel like that's a lot to watch me split all those up next. We'll get the wheel spinning and try to make it fast, but what I think we'll do is we'll find all the cards that have two players on them and we'll do those first. So I'll just have like an A and a B on the wheel so I can just keep spinning the same wheel. And then um, and we'll do another one with ABC. We'll just keep going until we run out of cards. Yeah, the Mariners have definitely made a comeback, that's for sure. Normally I spend a bunch of time talking up our group also, but this break was done only in the group. So I'm assuming everybody knows about the group. If you don't, um, there's a group called Dinger's Dugout that is on Facebook. And uh, a bunch of us that are here hang out there. We talk baseball cards and baseball and all sorts of stuff. But there's all sorts of interesting breaks that happen only in the group sometimes. Definitely worthwhile to, uh, to spend a little time in there if you aren't already. Royals. Scherzer from Nats. Nationals. Astros, Joey Bart, rookie from San Francisco, Tyler Naquin from the Indians. This is a Rays card. Rangers, Minnesota, Padres, Mets, White Sox, Mike Trout, Angels. Braves, Logan Webb. We have three different teams on there. Tim Anderson from the White Sox. Verlander, Houston. I've seen a bunch of those. Okay, as long as nobody's bored, I'm good. San Francisco, Miami. Max Kepler from the Twins. 
Jim Carter Izzy from the Twins. Flashback. Texas. Mariners. The good news is because we're going to try and split these up amongst teams, um, it seems like if you have a player on one of these cards, you're probably going to end up with one of them. It seems like it's working out that way. Spencer Howard from the Phillies. Rockies. Split. Phillies. Reds. Carlos Santana. Touchman. Pineda. Cubs. Castellanos is Reds. Twins. Alonzo from the Mets. Houston. Phillies. Savali from the Indians. Tyler O'Neill from the Cardinals. And Zach Wheeler from the Phillies. I can't even get over how many cards this is. Okay. This isn't even a big box. Like the, the time that we did two of the, the mega boxes from Top Series 1, that was a lot of cards. Kansas City, Milwaukee, Chapman, White Sox, Christian Pache, Braves, Mariners, Astros, Brewers, Dustin May, Brad Keller, Chris Bubik again. Phillies, Max Muncy, Bobachet in action, Chris Taylor, Clemente, Nick Ahmed, White Sox, got Yankees, Braves, Houston, Matt Olson from Oakland, Orioles, Evan White rookie, Brewers, Jack Flaherty, CJ Cron from the Tigers, and Pete Alonzo. And this means that in all four boxes, this is amazing, all four of our boxes, the hit was on the right side. Um, and I know I think they were that way for all of Hal's breaks too. He's done eight boxes now. He's doing four more tonight or tomorrow. Um, that tells me that all the hits are on the right. Come on, Static. This is the last of our packs, though. We didn't get a chrome one in this box. We have gotten a chrome in every other box. Um, we have three chrome cards. We have two autos. And we have um, three parallels so far. Is that right? Three? Four parallels. We have the Judge action. We have the Bryce Harper action. We have a Rich Hill black. And we have the Nathan Evaldi black. So we've, we've gone... Better than one per box, although I guess we're not done with this box yet. Maybe that is one per box. Um, we are, yeah, we got the Rich Hill out of this box. So it seems like if all things are staying equal, we're due a Chrome card and hopefully an autograph. That would be pretty incredible. Okay, I gotta stand back up. It's been a while. Okay, the last of our cards, and then of course we have lots of randomization to do, but I don't see, uh, yep, there's a relic and it's at the bottom of this whole stack. So just a heads up, we're get, we've got a relic coming. All right, Nationals, Judge, Alex Bregman from Houston, Calhoun, Marlins, Rangers, and I'll slow down as we get to the end because we want to see where this is going to finish up right now. The Diamondbacks and the Texans, uh, the Rangers, Texans, the Rangers are uh, battling it out here. Diamondbacks, Carlson and White, Phillies, Cubs, Marlins, Cubs, Cubs, Cubs making a late charge. Giants, Oakland. Twins. Otani from the Angels. I think that's the first Shohei card we've seen. Kevin Pillar. Cubs. Dodgers. Orioles. Spencer Howard, rookie from the Phillies. Dribble Cabrera. Scope. 
from Detroit. This is a Cubs card. Fergie Jenkins. Uh, he uh, he was in the 1986 top stuff too, Fergie Jenkins. Cubs. Rays. So many of that card. Another Rays card. Another Rays card. Ryan Mountcastle, another rookie boyhood star. Our boyhood photos of the stars. Um, that's a split. Break Trinan from Los Angeles. Houston. Red Sox. Astros. And the Rangers. Okay, one last stack. One last stack of new cards. And then we got to go back through all of these cards to split. And I'm, I'm going to divide them up on camera into sets of two, three, four, whatever. Charlie Blackmon from the Rockies. Pirates. Bryce Harper, Phillies. Freddie Freeman from Atlanta. Mariners. Cubs. White Sox. Howie Kendrick. Wainwright. Maldonado. Shohei. Josh Naylor. Cody Bellinger from Los Angeles. Josh Donaldson. Charlie Blackmon again. The Orioles. LeMahieu. Tehran. Jacob Stallings from the Pirates. Sixto rookie from Miami. The Rays. Giants. Longoria. That is a Mookie Betts Dodgers. Another Clemente. Twins. Rangers, Pirates, DeGrom from the Mets, Cabrera from Detroit, Padres, Danny Jansen from the Blue Jays, the Dodgers, Josh Bell Relic. Josh Bell, that's a Pirate. Set that aside. Jeff McNeil from the Mets, and the Marlins. Okay. So that is all of our cards. We've seen them all, but we don't know who gets them all yet. We have to figure that out. So before we jump into that, let's just do a quick recap. We got this Andres Jimenez, red auto out of 72, uh, that he apparently signed twice, but it's not, it's a, it's an on-card auto, which is pretty awesome. We also have a Vita Blue, also an on-card auto. Uh, not numbered, but still very, very cool to see somebody from that era. Uh, we have the uh, Aaron Judge action variant. Uh, we had the Juan Soto Nationals Chrome. Uh, we had a couple of other relics. We I, I like this red... Joey Votto. Uh, Chrome cards are always cool to me. And then we had a couple of other... Um, we had the Josh Bell Relic. We had the Ian Happ Relic. Cool. And then we had the psychedelic colors of... Bryce Harper's Phillies action variant. We had a Chris Sale Chrome. That uh, that about does it for the the bigger hits. So now we have to go into this stack. These are all of the cards that were um, needing to be split. Uh, I have not counted any of these towards teams. So what we need to do is a little division. So I, I need to divide these into two, three, four player cards. So we'll do two, three, two, two, three, three, four. This will be one, I guess. Uh, three, 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 two, four, two, two, three. Now what I should do, oh, I, I guess I will do, is I need to go through and make sure and see how many of each copy we have too. Because if we have multiple copies, then I'll try to give one to each of the owners. That's a three, two, one, one, three, one, two, 
3118. That's a crazy card. 8, 4, 1, 2. Okay, two, one, two, two, three, two, 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 one, three, 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 one, three, three, four, three, two, one, two, and three. Okay, lots and lots. Okay, so we can jump over to this view. Whoa, that's that's crazy. That's not the view I was going for. Let's go to this view. How about that? Okay. So first things first, we're just going to make, oh, I need my keyboard for this. There's an A. There's a B. Okay. So we have our two letters. And what I think I'll do just to, just to share with you guys how this is going to work because I don't have the camera up on screen. I'll just name the cards. But um, I have all of these cards here in front of me. We have this stack of two player cards. I need to go, I need to do a little bit more sorting. So I feel like we're not gonna have stuff on screen here just for a second. So like this one, I have Jose Abreu, Jose Abreu, and Jose Abreu. So there's, there's three of this card. So I have to randomize all of those because I don't have a fourth one. Otherwise, I just give one to each of you. And the same goes for this one. Uh, this one, there's four players on it, but we only have two of the cards. So those will all have to be randomized amongst those teams. Uh, and the one with eight on it is the same. With the twos, though, let's see if we can see if we can find pairs. Because I know there are pairs of some of these. Um, so far, not good. Let's get these out of the way. This this table has seen its share of uh, card sorting for sure. Okay, there's another Mount Castle. So these two will be split amongst the owners. I wonder how many of these there are. There are. There's a third one. So like, if we only if we end up with three, then I'll randomize the last one. Uh, that's the same. That's the same. This is nice. They're doubling up quite nicely, which will actually make this a whole lot easier. There's another one of those. And, oh, this is this is working out perfectly. Okay, so just so you guys can see what has happened here, I have a few cards left that we will need to shuffle out and randomize. But you can see that I have two of these. So this is Tanner Hawk and Sam Huff. We have two of those, so I'll just send one to each of you. So that's one card for the Red Sox, one card for Texas. And we'll, uh, we'll pull those off to the side so that I remember how to do this. For the Mount Castle, though, Mount Castle Dahlbeck, there's three of them. So you're each going to get one for sure. And then we have to randomize this one. So player, the first player on the card is, is A, and the second player on the card is B. So let me make sure that I have... Um, hopefully it doesn't remove this. Oh, you, you didn't get to see it anyway, so hold on. i gotta, I got to do that again. Um, come on, wheel. Okay, it looks like it's not gonna do anything for me. That's perfect. Okay, so let's go back to this. Now I'll actually spin the wheel. And Mount Castle is A, Dahlbeck is B. That's definitely a B. Okay. So that means that uh, Bobby Dahlbeck, you will get, Boston will get two of these cards. And I need a way to keep track of that. And I don't have anything here in front of me that's going to make that easy. So one moment. I don't know what I was thinking when I started this. And I need a pen.
Okay. I'm back. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use a fancy post-it note, and I'm going to write Dalbeck on it. And then what I'm going to do is put the post-it note on my desk underneath it, and I'm going to put the card on top. Okay. That's good. Okay, so then this one, this Tristan McKenzie, I only have one of these. So it's between the Royals and the Indians. So let's spin and see who gets that. Again, uh, Royals is A, Indians is B. Looks like the Royals are getting that one. Okay. All right, so the rest of these split up pretty nicely. Oh, actually, you know what, and I totally lied. I just spun that off, but I do in fact have two of those cards. I just didn't somehow see that they were paired. So never mind. No, here, I'll, just to make sure I show this. I'm trying to be honest. I didn't realize that there were two, but there are two. I had them in two different stacks. So those are good. These, the Cabrian Hayes and Jose Garcia, there are two of those. So those will be split evenly. Uh, so actually we gotta go back because we're not keeping track of our counter. So let's go back to the Indians one. The uh, Royals and the Indians each get a card. Royals, Indians. And then the Pirates and the Reds each get a card. Reds, Pirates. Then we have St. Louis and Seattle. There's two of those. So Seattle and St. Louis each get a card. We get two of these, the Cubs and the White Sox. Cubs, White Sox. We have two of these. This is the Nationals and the Braves. Nationals and Braves. This is the Reds and the Braves. Two of those evenly split. Braves and Reds. It's nice that they gave me a two of each of one of these cards. Um, uh, this is Kansas City and San Diego. San Diego, Kansas City. And then the last one is Angels and White Sox. We have two of those. Angels, White Sox. Okay. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's get into our threes then, I guess. Well, no, I have two more here to do that are twos. So these definitely need to be randomized. This one is Dick Allen from the White Sox and Carlos Santana from the Indians. There is only one of these, so I'll have to spin this off. So we'll do that here. Again, A is the White Sox, B is the Indians. It's going to be close. Whoa. B it is, so that's an Indians card. So that goes to Carlos Santana. And then this one is Juan Soto and Billy Williams. This is Cubs or Nationals. Cubs is A, Nationals is B. All right, so that's going to the Nats. Do all this stuff, write the thing down. The Soto card goes to Washington, and we're back. Okay, so that's been good so far. Now let's do this with threes, see what we end up with with uh, three cards. No matches yet. That's a different card. That's a different card. Is this the same one? Yeah, okay. We're starting to get into our pairs now. This one is that one. This one is that one. This is great. I love when they just give you two of each one. This is gonna, I'm gonna have to randomize all of them, but it would be, 
It would actually be cooler if they would give you three of them, but oh, we got three of that one. That's good. Three of that one too. And three of that one. Okay. So for this one, we have uh, Shane Bieber. Oh, no, these are not the same. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's let's make sure I'm getting this right then. This one has three, right? Yeah, these are the same. You can see all three of those are the same card. So that goes to a Yankee, a Brave, and Houston. So we're going to go Yankees, Braves, Houston. And those go in the pile of evenly distributed. And then this one, I think these are all the same. Uh, Bieber, Keigel, and Bassett. Yeah, those are all the same card also. So we'll do an Indians, White Sox, Oakland. Oakland, White Sox, Indians. Those are split. Everything else I think is going to be randomized. I only have two. So we have uh, Trevor Bauer, Hugh Darvish, Denilson LeMay. So i got to add another value to my wheel. We have three values on our wheel now, and we're going to decide where each one of these is going to go. So the first one is, um, it'll be A, B, C, right? So tr the Reds are A, the Cubs are B, and the Padres are C. Padres. That one goes to the Padres. All right, we're going to do it again. And this one is for the other one. Oh, you guys can't even see this. Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I'm, I'm going to make a judgment call here since I'm splitting the other ones. I'm going to, um, on, on these splits, you can only win one of them. So because the Padres have already won, I'm just going to spin until we don't get C. And it looks like it's going to be B, so that's going to be Cubs. Try to share the love here. Okay. So that is a Cubs card and a San Diego card. And we can go back to this. Next one is going to be Joey Bart, Varsho, and Jeffers. Uh, so again, we have Giants, Diamondbacks, Twins. That is a Giants win for Joey Bart. And then we'll do it again for either the Diamondbacks or the Twins. And the Diamondbacks. All right. So the Diamondbacks and the Twins got cards there. Next one up, we'll do uh, we'll do this one. I only have one of these. This is Shane Bieber, Garrett Cole, and Lucas Giolito. It's going to be Indians, White Sox, Yankees is our order. Indians, White Sox, and Yankees, and it's going to the Yankees, Garrett Cole. What I'm doing now is I'm just making post-its for each team, and I can just lay it on the right stack. Okay. Next card up is going to be this one. This is Nationals Brave. Oh, we already decided we were gonna we did this one the other way, so that's just a Braves card because it has two of the same team on it. Um, this one is you Darvish Padres and Max Freed. 
So Cubs, Padres, Braves. Uh, spin that wheel. This is a Braves card. And then it's the other one will either be Cubs or Padres. Padres it is. All right. Next card up is Yankees, White Sox, Angels. Two of those. Yankees, White Sox, Angels. That's a White Sox card. And that means that the other one is going to be a Yankee or an Angel. A or C. Yankees. All right. Two left in our sets of three here. We have Mets, Reds, Phillies. Mets, Red, Phillies. Mets, Reds, Phillies. Looks like that's a Reds. And that means the other one's going to be Mets or Phillies, A or C. And it looks like it is a Phillies card. I didn't get to watch the end of Harold's break last night, but I'm always interested to see how other people handle this other this crazy situation. Because this is crazy. Okay, last one. Last one is Indians, Yankees, Mariners. Indians, Yankees, Mariners. And there's two of them. Another Yankees card. And Indians or Mariners? Looks like it's Indians. All right. That was the threes. I'm just going to leave my stacks here on the table, but we're good. We still have a bunch of randomization to do. Um, but I have to bring in a different list, so we'll have to do that separately. So I have one, two, one, two, three, and one. Okay. So this is our next card. It has uh, Yankees, White Sox, Indians, and Angels on it. There's two of them, and we need a fourth card. Okay. So we have A, B, C, and B, and again, it will be Yankees, White Sox, Indians, Angels. That's the order. Okay, that is an Angels card. If I can get my post-it down. And then we do it one more time for Yankees, White Sox, Indians. D cannot win. And it's going to be Indians. All right. The next card we have three of. This is RBI leaders. So you can see it's a Brayu Voigt. So we have White Sox, Yankees, Indians, Angels. So I think it's the same four teams, actually, just in a slightly different order. Uh, but we have three of these cards. So only one team will not be getting one of these. White Sox, Yankees, Indians, Angels. That's White Sox. So 
So we have Yankees, Indians, Angels, B, C, D. That's the Angels. And last one. Can't be A. We already gave one to the White Sox. Go again. It needs to be either the Yankees or the Indians. It's going to be the Yankees. Okay. That is, oh no, we have, now we have the eight job, but it's not going to be all eight teams. It's going to be just the teams that have two, come on card. Um, it's going to be just the card, the teams that have two players. So if we look at this card, actually, it is two Braves, two Padres, and two Dodgers. So those are the those are the ones that we'll get to uh, go on this card. Okay. So A is the Braves, B is the Padres, C is the Dodgers. That's a Dodgers card, which I don't think I have a pile for yet. Okay. Okay, so that does it for all the cards that are represented by teams. Now we have all of these. These are the Cy Young Awards, some flashback cards, um, but nobody owns any of these. So we're going to shuffle these off to everybody. And to do that, I think I can find another browser that's open here somewhere. And we can just take all of the team names. Okay, I think we can just come in here and take this, delete, paste this plain text. There we go. There's all of our teams. So everybody is represented, and we will just shuffle these off to the appropriate team. So here we go. We'll, uh, we'll start with – I can't see what you guys see. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to start with – and I'll, uh, I'll try to keep this pile right here. But we're going to be jumping back and forth a lot. Uh, this is the Cy Young Award card. I'll probably just tell you what they are rather than try to come back for the visual each time. Uh, so we'll just stick on the wheel. There's our there's our wheel of all the teams. And our Cy Young Award card goes to... Oakland. Nice. Next card up is the Flashbacks 1972 Winter Games Kickoff in Japan. Going to Washington. Next one is the Willie Mays World Series MVP Award. And that's going to San Francisco. Next one is another Cy Young Award winner. Also to Oakland. They got both of them. This is now the MVP award. Going to Boston, maybe? Okay. The Rookie of the Year award, the Jackie Robinson award. Going to... Arizona.
This is the digital watch flashbacks 1972 going to Houston. Okay. Uh, this is another Cy Young Award. Going to Seattle. As long as it doesn't go to Oakland, I suppose that's good. This is the Poseidon Adventure Tops 1972 box office flashback. Going to Toronto or Texas? Toronto. Rookie of the Year Award again. San Diego. This is a World Series MVP Award. Going to Cleveland. We have an MVP award again. Going to the Cubs. And with our very last card, this is Bilingual Cameroon Unites Flashbacks 1972. And this is going to Atlanta. Okay, so I think that that does it for all of our cards. I think I've covered every card. We'll jump back to this view for a second. And what we can see with our leaderboard is that the Diamondbacks did in fact hold on to lose with 16 cards. So they tried very hard. Um, they made their best effort to try to come in last and they succeeded. So um, that is... I think that's everything, everybody. It was a good night. It was a good break. Uh, I'm I'm calling the I'm calling the Vita Blue my hit of the night. I think that's that's my winner uh, as far as our cards go. But we had some good hits tonight. There were some good cards in here. The Judge is good. The Soto is good. Um, I'm excited to get these out to you. So they'll these will all ship tomorrow. I'll uh, I'll drop them in the mail tomorrow, and hopefully you guys will have them Monday or Tuesday. Um, so with that, have a great holiday weekend, everybody that celebrates. Uh, and if you don't celebrate, have a great weekend anyway. Um, I will see you guys all around very soon. I don't know what we're going to break next, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. So thank you guys all for tuning in for two hours. And uh, I'll see you guys all next time. Later. Oh, uh, can I send the Olympic card and the bilingual card to Greg? Um, let's see. Thomas, you had the Olympic bilingual card and the Olympic card. Yes, I can do that. I want to make sure I get that right, Thomas. So you, if I look at this properly, look at my actual list. Toronto was owned by Greg. So he was already, he was already getting the Olympic card. And then the bilingual card was the Braves, which Thomas, I'm pretty sure you probably owned. Where is my Braves? Yeah, you own the Braves. So I will send him the... Um, bilingual one, but I think he was already getting the Olympics one. So make sure, I want to make sure I'm not missing something there though. Anyway, that is going to do it for tonight. Thank you guys all so much. Uh, and I'll see you here next time.